Hey guys. Hello. Welcome back to Living with the Toys. Um, how are you guys doing? It's been a while. Um, I hope you're great. We are. Um, we're doing great. Everything is fine. So today we have a very interesting topic for discussion, and uh, it's it's usually it usually causes us to have basically a little argument, so to speak, on who's right and who's wrong. Basically. Her version and my version. Of course, okay, so my version is the right version. But, but, today she's going to tell us her version, and basically it's her version of how we met. Um, we're going to talk about how, oh, who did what, when, and how. I don't get who did what, when, and how. My mom watches this, so you, I have to censor some things. Uh, Mama. You know now, your daughter is in good hands, so no problem. Mm -hmm. And for all the family members, you know now, please put up your comments and we will know what you yeah. have to say. <laughs> guys, I'm going to tell you guys the truth and not about the truth, so help me God. This young man is going to lie. The good thing is, the good thing is, in the comment section, we have people who know us, and I'm actually very interested because she always says, you know my friends will support me. People so have been betrayed me lately. I don't understand you guys. So, Who is your friend in this relationship? So me or him? We his? are going to know. At least now, you guys are not scared that uh, you know you will not pass. You know, you know now. Just <laughs> be <quiet or> <laughs> okay, so but basically, I'm expecting, I'm, I'm hoping to hear some very nice comments on what you guys think and your versions for those of you who know her very well and those of you who know me very well before the us version of the whole thing. version of how we met hopefully an abridged version so okay how did we meet well, it's easy that we met in school that's just a short version how did we meet so what's the okay, story this is the story guys like uh, <clears throat> so we met in school as most of you know went to Futsmina, nigeria at all and this young man was a substitute lecturer in my department we both studied architecture the first time i saw him i actually thought he was a student i didn't know he was a lecturer so me being a nice person i just said hello and i walked past i had a friend that was lecturing me at the time not really lecturing me but his friend was a level advisor at most times he's always in the studio no just as you master students was was my own then one day okay Second semester or so, I resumed school and they go, oh, we have a new lecturer, blah, blah, blah. I'm not like, I beg. Like, the guy, my friend was like, my friend so was like, ah, the guy is even making us copy notes. I said notes. So if you say hello. Say hello. So if you say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so. And, you know, I was like, ah, please, who is this one that is making people copy notes? Me, I don't like copy notes, so I don't like all those things. Then, voila. I go for lecture and I'm seated and he walks in. This one carried over on the graduate course again. Next day, brother decided to pick on me and he was asking me questions. God saved him that I love history of architecture, so it was okay. And this man was like lady in pink. He said, pink what? Yeah, I looked at my dress, it was peach color. I looked at my face, she was very pink. So I saw that across my leg that as a sharp girl that didn't want to answer a question. And he was like, no, you. I was like, okay, no problem. I answered. The next class, the same thing happened. He kept asking me questions. But that's just it. Fast forward, we had design. That was like, I think my third year. So I didn't see him again because as I said, he was a substitute. The main lecturer came back from her maternity. I think she was on maternity leave. And also when she came back, he was gone. I was like, thank you, Jesus. This man is gone with his plenty questions. Then my fourth year, we were supposed to design an orthopedic hospital. And somehow, somehow, Sha, we met him again at the car park. I was with my friends. We needed to get a ride. See, if you went to FUTV, now you guys understand. 
the boss line no be here. Like when I mean that line, I'll put a picture for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. Brother had car. We're waiting, looking for free ride to go back home. Ah, my friends that pushed me like, Roger, please, that's like, ah, ah not if you. Well, let's go. Now it's not to ask questions. Like, can you please leave us? And I asked him if he could um, give us a ride back to um town. He was like, yeah, sure. Nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. Really nice guy. And that was it. We shall have took a ride back to town. I didn't sit in front, guys. I sat behind. JJ, my team, respected by color. Sat behind. It was a ride back to, uh, back to town. And I think after a ride, he asked us questions about how we design. You know, like, uh, orthopedic hospital. And he's like, oh, if we, if we have any problem that he had a student that was designing or that designed an orthopedic hospital, I think for his project, we could always come on. Like, yeah, sure. Then let's fast forward. I did actually see you again for a long time. Your story, not yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, please remember. And I think I did see him again for a long time. Then one of my friends was like, ah, how far at Steve that like, oh yeah, it's true. Let's even find him. He wasn't in school, went to his office, he wasn't there. Then she gave me his number. Put us up and I get denies it. Eh? God is watching you. She gave me his number and I was like, sure, let me even call. And then I sent him a message. I called twice. He didn't pick up. Then I sent a message. He introduced him by CCA. The guys, the way I wrote sign that message. Oh my God. In short, if that thing had gone through Tony T or any software, any grammar software on our field, good evening, sir. How are you doing, sir? My name is Oja, sir. From Four Relevant, as in, in short, I gave my whole family history if possible just to add uh, the girl. I don't know if I can call him, blah, blah, blah. I shall. And I said, sure. Then I think he sent me the guy's number. The No, no. Before that, he had given me the guy's number. Sorry. He gave me the guy's number. The guy's number wasn't connecting. That's why we had to reach him. Yeah. We had to reach him because he gave me the guy's number. And the guy's number wasn't going through. So, ah, auntie had to pass down. We had to pass. We need to go for IT. Can't come and feel design and then I'll last see that in school after all the school fees my mother has been paid. Um and yeah, after I think after a while he replied and then we started chatting, innocent chat And we kept chatting back and forth. And for some reasons I just thought by 9 p.m. This man will go and watch network news, NTA news. I don't know why. And I was like, okay. And plus I was scared because my lecturer still last last. And we had a girlfriend in school then, and we had this cosplay that was always protecting him. Any spotting at his girlfriend is the photo like shall let's we'll talk about that one later. Don't think it is now. Come on, gonna be girlfriend in your girlfriend now. Anyways, long story short, we got talking, we started chatting. <laughs> we started chatting, and um, that was it though for me. Oh, innocently then um yeah, we started chatting. And every time I had issues with my design, okay, that particular design, it was a pretty big one. And he offered to come see my roof plan at my place. He didn't enter my apartment. It was outside the gate. I took my design. I showed him the roof plan. He saw it. I was like, okay, it's fine. It's okay. Blah, blah, blah. We shot. Talked. And that was it. Then, because I'm a nice person, you know, when we go chatting, he now said... Um, he had not had pancakes in a long time, and I love pancakes, mm -hmm. so I offered to make pancakes for him. First, I made the pancakes. He came. We ate in his car. In his car, we ate in his car. Had the pancakes in his car, and then brother decided to pay back. So he said, "Um, let's go for lunch." Now, if you know me very well, yeah, I like what that is. And I thought about it, I was like, ah, lunch, what? Hey, this man wants to come and crap my style in this school. I didn't want any wahala. He was a lecturer in my department. I'm a good girl. My mother sent me to school to go and learn book, not to go and look for man. Hello, mama. <laughs> to go and learn book. Oh. Ma was reading book by Tino. Nice, I should go. So she go for lunch. So I found all the excuses in this world. So I kept postponing, like, ah, tomorrow, this is it. So this faithful day, I had to go to church for something. I'm a church girl. I had to go to church for something. And then I told him um, I couldn't make it because I had to go to church. And somehow what I had to do in church, I finished early. Then I was coming out though, and I saw him pass front of the church. And I said, ah, ah 
I tried calling him like, ah, I just saw you pass, but he didn't pick up. So me, I flew my Okada. Jelly, jelly. Let me go to the ATM and go and withdraw the treasure money I had in my account and help my life. And when I got to the ATM, who did I see? I saw him. He was packed by the roadside. I think he was going to have his lunch. Um, the lunch was supposed to go on the date, something like I think not not a date. We're just supposed to go for lunch and all. And I, I tapped, I think, the glass, like the, um, the wind did this, yeah. And I was like, hello, he was like, oh, like, what the, I, I came to use the ATM. And somehow, somehow, Sha, we Sha ended up um, going for the lunch. He checked, he wanted powder jam and a goosey. The go was shaman, man, drove all the way. As the distance he drove there, eh? ah, if you had to imagine leaving both all the way to Tonga because of powder jam and a goosey. We Sha, he checked, I think they didn't have. Did they have? Did he have the party? Your you story, oh. your story. Come on, doesn't mean that you can't help me remember. No, your okay, story. anyways, I think they have the party jam and the pussy. Yeah, remind you can't talk when I'm talking on mine. Of course, I'm going to talk. If you, you start guys, lying, I'm going to talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Evil Zeph no, no, no. agrees with okay. me. Yo, 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 yo. I do, 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 Okay. Background okay. music. Okay. Anyways, guys, forget this background music. <laughs> um, so we went for the um dates not really a date we just went out because it wasn't like a proper date like we just talked to each other and we went to this amazing place in Minai, like our sketch of town and we spoke for hours like oh my god i'm not connected with anybody like that in a very short like forever and we kept talking and talking i think it was more than seven hours we were still talking guys this man can't talk sha we shall just take all the gist you can think of. I can't remember. I'm sure we will talk about our ancestors. We spoke, we talked, had lunch, had ice cream. I don't even like ice cream. I said to form beep. I took ice cream by force. Ice cream. I was like, we're taking ice cream. We bought the ice cream. Hi. This we do for, for boys. Mama, I went to school to read book. Oh. It's just food I went to eat. Then I think that was it. And afterwards, we started talking, we started chatting more. And I think, yeah, I think that was it. After that lunch we had, the more than seven hours of long speech. And after a while, like some months later, like three, four months later, he asked me officially because as I am like this, you cannot come and tell me, eh, I thought we were dating. He had to officially ask me, will you be my girlfriend? Like he now officially asked me, will you be my girlfriend? And I said, yes. So that's how we met too. Did I leave anything out? As far as you're concerned, I don't think I left anything. This is your version. I don't think I left anything out, guys. So guys, that's it for me. How we met. We met in school with all his picking on me. Class of um, 2012. 2014, I don't even know when we graduated again, no thanks to Asu. You guys now saying the truth. He picked on me a lot. There was no lecture that my name, as he didn't even know my name. He was always calling me by the color of my dress or my top. That he didn't ask me questions. Like even when I hide under the drawing board, he you see him with his eyes. Forget to this is not back without without his glasses. Is that God is helping our life? You see him looking for looking for me under the table or to like come by like hey you. I mean, I don't know the answer. I was like, why don't you do it? I'm like, hey, forget it. Now you said we come school. So he was picking on me a lot. Even the girls, all the girls in my class can testify. You get better comments and say the truth. Even some boys in my class can testify to this. This young man picked on me. His own love was picking love. He, was, he did old school love of, ah, let me pick on this girl. So that's it for me, guys. That's how we met. Um... We don't want to really keep the video so long. I think I've spoken a lot. Like, oh my god, it's about 10 minutes. Yeah, but don't forget that this is my, inter word. This is my interview. So I, sh I should conclude, right? Okay. So basically, this is version one. Please the stay, right version. stay tuned for version two. The right version. Okay, as stay said. tuned for version two. Again, like I said. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for everything. We will talk to you and keep up when we meet next time. Bye bye. bye. This face. I'm an angel. I said the truth. Bye bye. Bye. Zephy say bye bye. Zephy say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.
bye bye <laughs> bye guys bye guys oh and don't forget to subscribe like and share this video bye